Some students at the University of Auckland are growing increasingly concerned about a group of students who they say hold extreme white supremacist views. They've taken their complaints to the police and the university but say no action has yet been taken. Our reporter, Katie Scotcher, has been looking into the complaints and just before we came on air I asked her what the students have told her. So the students uh, that I've spoken to, there's quite a large group of them have said that they're growing increasingly concerned um, by the behaviour of another group of students at the University of Auckland who they say hold extreme right-wing white supremacist views. Uh, their concerns are about a group of students but they say that there are kind of one or two of them that are kind of leading the charge and are being incredibly vocal online and in person about their views. Uh, they said that the students I've spoken to say that uh, this group have been vocal about their views for some time, for years in fact, um, but following the Christchurch terror attack they've kind of become more public and their behaviour has amplified. Uh, the students that I've spoken to have made complaints to the university and to police about the behaviour, but they say the university is yet to do anything. They haven't had much response or any action from them at this point. Um, and they've told me that it's making them feel incredibly unsafe and it's stopping some of them from attending their classes. So when they say that they're uncomfortable with the behaviour and some of the comments, what are we talking about? So the students have described to me some distressing and disturbing encounters with the two students in particular, um, some dating back to 2013 when one of the students was seen um, in one of his classes wearing a jacket with a swastika on the arm. Um, I've been told that following the attack on March 15th that one of the students posted on social media on a public page telling people who were mourning the death of the 50 um, Muslims at the two mosques that they were cowards for, for mourning the loss of life. Um, students say that over the past few days um, one of the students has entered the postgraduate labs and has been walking around and intimidating them. One described him walking around the lab in kind of a military style. Um, and in the past week, the um, phrases have appeared on walls at the university um, that were actually written on the alleged gunman's weapons, um, and they were written on walls across the university in chalk. Now, it's not clear who wrote those messages and who wrote those phrases, um, but they were removed the day after they were first seen. So regardless of who's carried that out, they're talking about a, a, a racially charged undertone there at the university. Yeah, and they've it just it's getting worse and worse by the day and that the behaviour is just amplifying continually. It's, you know, it doesn't show any sign of stopping at this point. You mentioned that they feel scared. In, in what way, how? To be on campus with these people? Yeah, they feel really threatened by their behaviour and they feel really intimidated and, you know, they want to go to university to learn, they want to go to, you know, study and better themselves and, you know, learn about what they're passionate about, but these, you know, number of students are making them feel incredibly unsafe, they don't feel as if they can go to class, uh, they feel threatened by them constantly. You mentioned the, the university there, so Tell us a bit more about how long the university has perhaps known about this and, and what the police are saying as well. So I've had a brief chat with um, a member of staff from the university today, so they have been contacted um, about this situation but they're yet to kind of comment officially on it. Um, they were aware of some of the situations that have been and you know, some of these examples I've shared with you, um, but yeah, they're yet to officially say anything or have any response to what's been happening and the behaviour these students um, are experiencing. Before we move on to the police, just for clarity, do the students you have spoken to say that they made official complaints to the university? Yep, so the, the students I've spoken to have made complaints to the university proctor and the vice-chancellor and other senior members of staff. So there's no question that the university is fully aware of the concerns here? No question at all. Police, what about the police? So the students I've spoken to have made complaints about um, the behaviour to police. Um, they s have told me that they, um, the students have said that the police are looking into their reports, um, but the police have told me that they aren't able to comment on any investigation into a specific person. Um, today, interestingly, the police were seen at the university making inquiries, which um, I questioned this afternoon. Um, turns out that they were making inquiries after a report that a student had made a bomb threat. Um, after making inquiries at the university this afternoon, the police discovered that this, in fact, was not the case, and the 
threat which was actually made by one of the two students um, of concern here um, was made by one of those students on social media about 30 weeks ago um, and the police have told me that they're not going to take any further action against that student. And that was Katie Scotcher there talking about the concerns some students have about extreme white supremacist views on campus.